Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, once again we are gathered around the table of the Lord on this fifth day in the octave of Christmas. And we, uh, in our Mass today, we offer all our prayer intentions, all the prayer intentions of all our daily Mass goers, all of you who are joining us today in our live stream, and for the intentions of people who've asked us for prayers. I'd like to pray for the health of my family, 
for the healing of Nicanor Sering, Albert Ladion, and Mao Viterbo, for the repose of Father Bill McGarry, whose death anniversary we celebrate today. And as we come before the altar of the Lord, we are reminded once again of God's infinite mercy that continues to draw us closer to Him despite our sinfulness. And so let us now remember our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and earth, on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you had from the very beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you, for the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in the darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens, splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. A light of revelation to the Gentiles 
and glory for your people Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with a dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout awaiting the consolation of Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we are on the fifth day of our octave, five days after Christmas. And during this time, it is not uncommon for people to ask, um, what did you get for Christmas? Perhaps you had your own wish list of something you wanted to receive. And it is satisfying when you do get your wish. But how much more satisfying is it when you are pleasantly surprised to receive more than what you wish for? When you receive something you did not expect. When that happens to us, when we receive far more than what we expected, we are overcome with joy. And this kind of joy is what we hear in today's gospel. We encounter Simeon, the just and devout man who eagerly awaited the coming of God and the consolation of his people. And in God's time, Simeon not only saw with his eyes, but even held in his, in his arms his long-awaited hope. Simeon held in his arms the eternal word made flesh. He experienced in an intimate way how God visited his people. All his life, he longed for this moment of encounter. And here it was at last. He couldn't have expected that this is how it would be. No wonder he had to burst out in, into a proclamation. My friends, Simeon's proclamation reminds us that Christmas is not just about receiving nice gifts or having our wishes granted. Christmas is about the fulfillment 
of our deepest need, our need for God. It is about God breaking into our human reality, light breaking into darkness, dwelling among us. It is about awakening to God's presence in our lives. And when we realize that God is here, often in ways that we do not notice or expect, we are filled with deep joy. So how can we be more aware of God's presence in our lives? Our first reading may offer some guidance from the first letter of John. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. In other words, like what the classic hymn tells us, where love and charity are, there God is. We experience God in our loving relationships with one another. When we witness generosity and loving service in ourselves and others, we get a glimpse of that light amidst the darkness. We get a glimpse of the presence of God. So maybe this season, we are invited to notice and give thanks, not just for the material gifts, but also the love we receive from the people in our lives, people who accept us, who enjoy our company, who care for us, who forgive us, who are generous to us. Do we somehow take them for granted or do we realize how they are real manifestations of God's loving presence in our lives? So let us remember them in joyful prayer today and give thanks for them. And let our remembrance provide our days with light. In turn, we are also invited to manifest God's light to others. And perhaps you can think of one or two persons in your life to whom you can be an instrument of God's compassion and healing. How can you embody God's presence for them? Through your kind words and actions. And maybe you're invited to share God's consolation by listening to them. Or God's mercy by forgiving them or God's generosity by serving them in love. And you will be able to do this because you are connected to the source of love. So what did we get for Christmas? God offers us no less than his very self. And he's not content in giving us created things. He is telling us, each one of us, I am here for you. I am here with you. Perhaps we are reminded that when what we have received, we can also share. The Christmas season is far from over, so let us make the most of it by being channels of God's light, presence, and love to the people around us. Amen. On this holy day, let us present our petitions to the Almighty Father who loves us as his children in his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Full of confidence, we pray, Lord, bless your people. Lord, bless your people. That the world in agony, torn by division and strife, may be filled with tidings of comfort and joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. That families throughout the world may become a dwelling place of your incarnate Son, Jesus, our Emmanuel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless your people. people. That our religious and political leaders humble themselves as Jesus humbled himself and be responsible stewards of your people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless your people. That the good news of your coming resound throughout the world so that people will hear the comforting words of hope and the promise of salvation, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. bless your people. That the Lord may welcome to the joy of paradise those who have gone ahead of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless your Lord. people. And we include in our prayers those celebrating their birthdays, especially for Ramon Go. We pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. We also pray for the healing of May Soriano, Gina Bele Sendanya, and Raisa Bayani. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. We also pray for the repose of the souls of Ating Leong, Hendy Brasileño, Annette Castro Obanya, David Medalla, and Re Roberto Mercado. We pray to the Lord. Lord, bless your people. We also pray for the special intentions of Ramoncito Cruz, Cynthia Santos Ocampo Padilla, Hanibi Hubahib, Joseph Niton King, Josephine Labrador Hermano, Lizzie Ann and Francis Puno and family, especially as they celebrate their wedding anniversary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless, bless your people. And for all the intentions that you have sent to our Facebook pages here at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord bless, bless your people. Father, hear our prayers and make this Christmas celebration a moment of thanksgiving and great sharing. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for good and the good of all His church. Receive your, our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body of and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may constantly be sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Kalungsod, pray for us. So once again, we thank all of you for joining us today in our Mass, and we continue to pray for all of your intentions. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
Maria. 